Wodi ya kipekee ya watoto wachanga ni hapa ambapo tunampata mtoto huyu hajakuwa na jina tangu azaliwe. Sasa ni miezi mitano. Mzazi wake wa kike aliyemzalia katika kliniki moja eneo la Kibera alimleta hapa kwa matibabu baada ya hospitali hiyo kushindwa na hali yake. Hali ya hydrocephalus kichwa chake kimejaa maji na ni kikubwa kushinda kiwili chake. Baada ya mama kumleta hapa na ganga ganga za madaktari kwa muda mfupi tu mamake akatoweka. Hadi sasa ajulikani aliko na nambari za simu alizoacha hapa hazipatikani tena. Tangu wakati huo mtoto huyu ameishi hapa peke yake. Hakuna anayemdekeza kama wenzake. Hii ni hadi siku chache zilizopita ambapo Alan Odhiambo, mchungaji wa kanisa alipomuona na kumpa jina baraka. Nikakuta mgonjwa mmoja amembeba akitembea na hivi kwenye vyumba vingine vya wagonjwa huko ndio nikajua kumhusu. So nilipoona hali yake nikaulizia ndio wakaniambia kwamba ako katika hii hali na aliachwa na mzazi hapa hospitalini na alikuwa yuko peke yake sasa baraka anayemlezi lakini hatma yake ingali haijulikani madaktari wanasema kuwa ubongo wake haujakomaa na ni mdogo mno na matibabu ya upasuaji kumtoa maji huenda akahatarisha maisha yake basically what we are doing for now is just supportive management feeding the baby we have talked to the neurosurgical team which say there isn't really much they can do for now Japo mlezi wake sasa anayo matumaini. Bado wanamwangalia kuangalia vile hali ya akili na pressure kwenye kichwa itakuwa ndipo saa tuweze kufanya operation. Tangu azaliwe ni miezi mitano sasa. Baraka amekuwa hapa peke yake bila mlezi wala mzazi. Japo sasa kuna matumaini ya yeye kupata msaada na kuweza kupona. Wengi watoto ambao wamezaliwa na ulemavu fulani wameachwa na wazazi wao. Wodi ya pili tunakumbana na mtoto Joyce. Ana umri wa mwaka mmoja sasa, japo anaonekana kuwa wa miezi michache. Ugonjwa anaogua pia ni kichwa kuja maji na upindi wa mgongo yani spina bifida. Japo hali yake ni nafuu zaidi, pia wazazi wake wamemtoroka kwa ulemavu huu. I called the parents and I talked to his father and the father told me he would come to check on him but he did not come. So I made several telephone calls and the last time I talked to him in May this year he told me that um he was not his father and that he had assisted his mother who is a street woman in Karatina na kesi ya Alvin mtoto wa umri wa miaka saba. ameishi hapa kwa miaka mitatu tangu alazwe akiwa na wazazi wazazi wake hawapatikani tena wamesema kuwa hawezi kumlea katika hali yake ni aibu kwao kwani ni mlemavu Steven pia ni mtoto mchangamfu zaidi lakini hana wazazi sasa baada ya ugonjwa wa kisukari kumlemea na kuletwa hapa mara kwa mara wazazi hawajakuja kumuona miezi imepita sasa tangu alazwe kando na watoto wengi waliochelekezwa kwa hali ya mombile au maradhi wazazi hao wameona aibu na ugumu wa kulemewa na mzigo wa kualia watoto wale mavu sasa watoto hao wanasubiri kupata msaada angalau kwa nyumba za malezi Japo imekuwa vigumu kuwatafutia kwa ajili ya hali yao. Kwa sasa usali kuu ya Kinyata itasalia kuwa nyumbani kwao. Agnes Penda, KTN Leo.